When you think of a revolutionary figure in today's world, does Musk come to mind? Rightly so. Musk, the mastermind behind several groundbreaking ventures, has been reshaping industries with his innovative ideas and investments. His portfolio is impressively diverse, from electric cars with Tesla to pioneering space travel with SpaceX. But it's SpaceX that showcases Musk's boldest ambitions, aiming to revolutionize space travel and even target Mars colonization by 2024. However, there's been a major leadership change at SpaceX recently, which has sparked questions about the future of the company and its projects, most importantly, the Starship program. People are wondering if Musk is leaving SpaceX entirely and what the impact of this change will be on the company's direction. We will talk about this in today's video. But before we delve deeper into it, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. When Musk entered the space industry with SpaceX in 2002, skepticism was very high. The industry was dominated by giants like NASA, Roscosmos, and the European Space Agency. Musk lacked direct experience in rocket science, yet his physics and economics background fueled a daring vision. Despite the complexity and costs of rocket technology, Musk pursued the development of reusable rockets, a concept many considered impractical. Of course, the early years were marked by a series of failures, with the first three Falcon 1 rocket launches resulting in explosion. However, Musk's persistence was rewarded in 2008, when the fourth Falcon 1 launch successfully reached orbit, making SpaceX the first privately funded company to achieve such a feat. This breakthrough was pivotal for SpaceX and the broader space industry. In the years following, SpaceX made significant advancements. The development of the Falcon 9 rocket, a more powerful and versatile successor to Falcon 1, allowed for a wider range of missions including satellite deployments and cargo trips to the International Space Station. The Dragon spacecraft also significantly reduced U.S. reliance on Russia's Soyuz for transporting astronauts to the space station. The most revolutionary advancement was the development of reusable rocket technology, which dramatically lowered the cost of space missions. The culmination of these efforts was the historic Crew Dragon mission in 2020, marking SpaceX as the first private company to send astronauts to the International Space Station. Today, Musk is managing more than just a space company with SpaceX. He's leading a massive $200 billion company that is undertaking increasingly ambitious projects, the most notable being the Starship spacecraft. This spacecraft is set to be the most powerful launch vehicle ever developed, capable of carrying over 100 metric tons to Earth orbit. For comparison, NASA's annual budget was approximately $22.6 billion in 2020, which is significantly smaller than SpaceX's valuation. Now, managing SpaceX with all these projects, along with Tesla, Neuralink, The Boring Company, and now Twitter, is a colossal task for Musk. Each of these companies is substantial on its own, with specific demands and complexities. Musk's acquisition of Twitter has added another layer of complexity to his already demanding schedule. Since taking over the platform in 2022, Musk has faced a series of controversies and challenges, including regulatory issues, online safety regulation, misinformation, and a significant decline in advertising revenue. These challenges have been exacerbated by Musk's approach to content moderation and his decisions regarding staff and user policies on the platform. To manage these extensive responsibilities and ensure the stability and success of SpaceX, Musk has been gradually bringing in competent leaders to the company. This approach is designed to ensure SpaceX's smooth operation and continued success, even if Musk reduces his involvement or steps aside. A significant recent hire is Ketty Luthers, formerly a standout figure at NASA. During her time at NASA, Luthers played key roles in space mission development and management. Now part of SpaceX, Luthers brings her extensive NASA experience and knowledge. Her background in managing space missions and developing technology is expected to greatly enhance SpaceX's operational and innovative abilities. Luther's primary focus at SpaceX will be on driving major projects and initiatives, such as the Starship program and the Mars colonization efforts. 
Additionally, Gwynne Shotwell, the current president of SpaceX, stands as a highly capable figure within the company, and there is growing speculation among industry experts that she may be the likely successor to Musk as CEO of SpaceX. Since joining SpaceX in 2002, Shotwell has been key player in its evolution from a bold startup into a frontrunner in the sector. Under Shotwell's leadership, SpaceX has racked up numerous significant achievements, including the development of the Falcon and Dragon spacecraft series. Notably, under the leadership of Gwynne Shotwell, SpaceX achieved a remarkable milestone by successfully launching two starships. Many in the space industry and beyond had believed that the ambitious design and scale of the starship would prevent it from ever taking off. However, SpaceX proved them wrong, not once, but twice. After the two previous Starship launches in 2023, the company is now preparing for its third Starship flight. This upcoming flight is scheduled for February 2024. However, this schedule is subject to approval from regulatory bodies such as the Federal Aviation Administration. The timing of the launch depends on receiving these necessary clearances. Past experiences with the first two Starship flights have shown that regulatory processes can cause delays. These reviews are crucial for ensuring safety and compliance with environmental and other regulations. The third Starship test will involve Booster 10 and Ship 28, both of which have recently undergone extensive testing and modifications. The tests included a 33-engine static fire of the Booster 10 and a six-engine test of Ship 28, showcasing SpaceX's progress and readiness for the next launch. This third test is not just a stepping stone for SpaceX, it's part of a larger vision to utilize Starship for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. However, before these ambitious plans can be realized, SpaceX must first demonstrate the rocket's ability to reach orbit and test its propellant transfer system. Considering Shotwell's remarkable achievements at SpaceX, her potential to take over as CEO is greatly highlighted. Her deep understanding of SpaceX's operations and mission is a testament to her capacity to lead in a high-tech company. So, in the event that Musk were to step away from his role as CEO at SpaceX, there's a strong argument that the company would continue to thrive under Shotwell's leadership. Her track record of successful project management and her ability to steer the company through complex challenges and innovations make her a suitable and reliable candidate for the top position. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.